Governor Chris Christie is back to work now that he's not trying to run for president or I don't know I doubt he's going to be anybody in any Trump uh, administration so I'm not really worried about that but keep in mind that this guy's still out there and he's spewing some of the wildest propaganda the the modern day has to offer um, in, in his little rant here he's going to answer a phone call at a radio station and guy wondering about legalizing m marijuana for recreational purposes in New Jersey, perhaps to, I don't know, uh, get some extra tax revenue, maybe ease up the burden on the gas tax that they have there. But somehow, Christie is just, as usual, just a diehard prohibitionist. He doesn't think that the kids, uh, you know, need to get um, their marijuana first before they move on to alcohol and then tobacco and heroin. And he also says that, you know, we already have alcohol and tobacco, so why would we need a third thing? And if we do that, then we're just going to go ahead and legalize everything. Next thing you know it, it'll be legal to make a donut with a hamburger and cheat 10 layers of cheese and crusted with bacon, you know, whatever. Well, anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and watch this video and then afterwards, I might uh, go over it a little bit and just, just kind of pick apart a, a few things that he says here. Just keep in mind that this is Chris Christie, and he says he's going to be the impediment for recreational marijuana to ever be legalized in New Jersey on his watch. Here he goes. <laughs> so, what do you got? Question. My question is, um, it seems like um, from from what I'm hearing that – you're the only obstacle in the way right now in the state of New Jersey to actually go forth and legalize the recreational marijuana. I know that Senator Sweeney and a bunch of the guys went to Colorado and they came back and they all had high hopes regarding it. They said how much money it could generate yearly in tax revenue, which would which would totally have to wipe out the gas tax. Oh, I mean, stop. But the revenue would be It's not even close. You, hey, let me, Mike, let me stop you for a second. Are you high right now? Because if you're telling me, if you're telling me that tax on recreational marijuana would wipe out the gas tax, the gas tax raises $1.2 billion a year. At what level are you taxing recreational marijuana where you're going to generate $1.2 billion in tax revenue from recreational marijuana? Uh, Governor, I should have said maybe adding that along with the gas tax. I, I Listen, that to me, legalization of marijuana for tax purposes, and, and that's the only way people justify it because you can't justify it in any way. It's blood money. That's what it is to me. I have watched too many kids start their addiction with alcohol and marijuana and then move on to much more serious drugs. And every study shows that marijuana is a gateway drug. And studies have shown that marijuana causes damage. Now, then the advocates will say, well, you permit alcohol and tobacco. Okay, so if we have two things that you could argue whether we should have or not, your argument is to allow the third one because what the hell? Well, then, all right, how about we legalize heroin? I, I, you know, if you, under your argument, if we could make good tax money, off of marijuana, imagine what we can make off of heroin. And how about cocaine? People are going to use it. So let's legalize cocaine, and we'll tax that too. PCP, angel dust. Like, what, what next? I'm sorry. There's nothing that we spend in government that's important enough to allow me to willfully poison our children for that money. That's blood money. Now, I understand other states have decided another way. You said I am the only impediment. You're damn right I'm the only impediment, and I'm going to remain the only impediment until January 18th, 2018. And you want to bring some other joker in here who's going to make the argument to you that this is all for the tax money? And watch what happens to productivity. Watch what happens in our schools. I'm sorry. I'm going to be the impediment. I will continue to be the impediment. Because I have watched what drugs do to children and adults in our society, and I am not going to do it for even $100 million in tax revenue, which probably would be a really good amount of money generated by recreational marijuana. 
And I quite frankly think it's reprehensible to say that you want to let this poison be legalized in our state for money. So I'm not going to do it. Well, there you go. (laughs) We have been lectured by Daddy Chris Christie. And, uh, yeah, see the the picture here? (laughs) When... When governor throws his weight around, he better expect some delays. And you heard it from him first. He's definitely going to be the impediment of uh, recreational marijuana legalization all the way till January 18, 2008. We're counting down the days, man. We cannot wait to see you go. One of the worst governors in the country. He spent most of his time running for president. And when he wasn't doing that, he was doing shit like Bridgegate. He wasn't doing that. He was doing shit like running for president or stumping for Trump. Um, This guy has no, uh, he don't care about New Jersey. He talks about blood money. All right, now blood money is this $1.2 billion in gas tax. Um, And I know about New Jersey. They got these places where they're called rest stops on the turnpikes. And you're not allowed to idle there. Yet, you'll find... um, entire roads that are missing because their construction is going on yet they still have red lights and shit for um traffic that has to stop for nobody coming the other way because the road's completely obliterated i mean that's that's just a typical example of how they work that gas tax he's talking about kids starting you know with alcohol and marijuana and then it leads them to addiction and no 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 he said every study shows the gateway theory is true and that the marijuana does damage. Nope. No study ever shows either of those. In fact, the FDA and the DEA both agreed in a recent letter that the gateway theory isn't any reason why they uh, you know, adhere to their scheduling of marijuana and illegality as such. So... Um, He's talking about how, you know, if alcohol and tobacco are legal, why, why should we do another one? Well, that'll just lead to heroin and cocaine and all this. Well, the difference is, is marijuana is the only one on the whole list that don't kill thousands of people a year. In some cases, hundreds of thousands. So, you know, we're asking for, for common sense here. We don't want to, you know, burden you with uh, legalizing everything in the world. We just want to legalize the one thing that actually doesn't kill anybody he keeps talking about poison and poisoning children poison this poison that marijuana has never killed anybody so it's by definition it's not poison um he's saying that marijuana when you legalize it there goes productivity schools there's a lot of problems that'll happen there what are you talking about man you have not paid any attention to anything since marijuana has been legalized in states whole countries um there's none of these productivity and school problems that you're talking about has gone on in any of these places so chris christie is just blowing some hot air as usual the guy has no moral compass he'll do anything he'll say anything he's in the tank for some of the shadiest shit ever and you know what chris christie fuck you be the impediment new jersey deserves a lot better